Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Make sure you subscribe down below to follow our journey and watch our family grow. For today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing another story time. This is just my story, my personal story, and my experience about the topic that we'll be talking about today, which is being a mom and also going back to work. So work, mom, life, balance, how to do it, how I do it, my experience with it, and my thoughts. So a little bit of a backstory. When I found out I was pregnant with Skylar, you guys already know, I was like more than halfway along when I found out I was pregnant with her. And I had just gotten my dream job, which is to work in a veterinary clinic. So I was super nervous, super scared because I obviously didn't know how they were going to react when I told them that I was pregnant and had to be going on maternity leave in just a few short months time. But obviously they were very, very supportive. Everything went perfectly. I got to learn so much at that clinic and was there for a few months before I had to leave and go on maternity leave. And I was on maternity leave for a whole year. I originally said, yeah, I'm only going to be off for a few months. I'll come back to work as soon as possible, as soon as I'm healed because I want to be back to work. And then, of course, as soon as Skylar Mae was born, I quickly realized that I'm never going to get this time back with her. I've mentioned this in a previous story time as well. So I opted to take the whole year on mat leave where I live you are legally allowed to take the whole year. You're paid to take a whole year off. So I took it nonetheless. Best decision I could have ever made. So after my year was up being on mat leave, I contacted uh, the clinic that I worked at. And because of the time of year it was, it was right around Christmas time. So it was after, right after like Skylar's birthday pretty much is when I had planned to start to go back to work. And it wasn't a super busy time of year. COVID was still pretty new. Everybody was still in kind of like weird quarantine times. They did not have work for me at the time that I wanted to go back to work, which is when the perfect opportunity came up and Delaney, my saving grace, approached me with an offer. I love the clinic that I used to work at and everybody that I used to work at there, but at the time I needed to go back to work to support my family and help Chris with bills and this, that, and the other. So I needed to take this opportunity, long story short, and I'm really, really happy I did. It is a very special opportunity. So I took it, I started working with the new clinic now really, really fast, and I am still at that clinic today, which is great. I've been there for almost six, almost six months now, or like just about six months now. Around Skylar's birthday, when I knew it was time to go back to work regardless, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I was very, very nervous. When I was on mat leave, every time I thought about going back to work, I wanted to cry and have a panic attack because I didn't want to leave her. I had major, major, major mom guilt and it, it sucked, <laughs> like to say the least. I felt like a bad mom for choosing to go back to work and it was just not good for my mental health. So when I got the job opportunity and took it and then started going to work fairly quickly after that, I was nervous but excited because I was doing something that I really, really liked doing and it was a really good opportunity. And thankfully, I have my mother and my sister for childcare so I didn't have to worry about like getting Skylar on a waiting list or getting her into a daycare because I know that's really, really hard, um, especially in the valley where I live right now. It's like nearly impossible to find daycare for your child or if you get put on a wait list, it's like super, super long. Don't mind my toddler, she's playing with her toys as always. But yeah, so it's super, super difficult. So I'm super thankful and blessed that I don't have to take that route and I just have <clears throat> my mom and my sister to care for her and Georgia, they're a package deal. It surprised me how fast I found my routine. Like lucky for me and Chris, we only have to have one vehicle. We have two but my car is not on the road right now. We just use the truck 
and it works out perfectly that way because Chris's boss lives like just down the road from us so Chris can walk to work in the morning and I will take Georgia and Skylar to either my mom's or my sister depending on where she's going that day and then I can drive to work and then I pick her and Georgia up on my way back home. So it works out really, really well. Finding the routine was surprisingly easy. All she wanted to do was sleep. Yes, you sleep in almost every morning. So mommy feels bad because she has to wake you up and put you in your house coat and your slippers and get you ready. Wake you up super early and drive you to Nanny and Papa's or Auntie Jenny's. And she absolutely loves it. The first couple drop-offs were obviously really heavy on my heart. Every time I called her on my lunch break, it made my heart sink because I obviously wanted to be with her. And even to this day when I go to work, I'm thinking about you almost all day. Yes, I am. But it's really, really, really good and really healthy to get a break away from her and not only, like, not just for me, but for her to get a break and hang out, have some quality time with my parents or with my sisters. And she absolutely loves it. Like, my sister, my nephews love hanging out with her too and having her there on those days. And they even get to see her at my mom sometimes because my mom also takes care of my nephews some days as well. Thank you, mom. <laughs> There's not too much to say on the subject other than it was surprisingly easy to adjust to. Some days are still harder than others. My best advice to the moms who are wavering, like teeter-tottering back and forth, or have, if you're pregnant right now, or you're on mat leave right now and you need to go back to work soon or you're planning on going back to work soon and you feel really, really anxious like I did and you're in that bad headspace, it is not as hard as you think it is. I feel like as women or as mom, especially when we have um, mom guilt, we put ourselves in the worst situations possible, like in our minds. We think that the worst is gonna happen like you know, prepare for the worst but hope for the best. At the beginning, it can be super, super, super tiring and draining. Being a mom in itself is already draining, is already tiring because it's a 24 seven job. There's no getting away from it. There's no stopping it. You can't ignore it. It's, it's something that is always there and something that you're always doing. I am constantly cleaning up after her or Rain or Georgia or Chris and myself as well. It is a lot to adjust to in general. Motherhood, parenthood in general is a lot to adjust to. So when you're going back to work, it's another adjustment. And I feel like it's a constant adjustment that you're doing when you are a parent. Like you're constantly adjusting because they're growing super, super fast and you have to adjust to their needs as they grow. And obviously your own needs, each, other, each other's needs, like your partner's, um, and vice versa. So once you find some sort of balance and it teeters back and forth, that's fine because it's going to constantly change. I would change absolutely none of it. I make sure that I have an equal amount of time to spend with Skylar and Chris and my family in general, as well as you know, committing to work and being present when I'm at work and doing my job. I'm learning so much at this job, even in the past six months, like the things that I've learned and the things that I've done are just super, super, super cool. So I'm like beyond thankful, beyond excited and happy to like what's gonna happen in the future and what the future holds. Yeah, I just really wanted to make this video to talk about this subject specifically and let people know out there if they're in the situation that I was in, do not be afraid, do not feel guilty. You are doing the right thing for your family and your child as a mother. That is one of your jobs or your main job. So if you succeed in doing so, then congratulations, mama. Even if you fail sometimes, that is okay. Even if you're a stay-at-home dad, mom's not in the picture, you're going back to work and being a dad and having that balance too. This video is also for you guys. I think it definitely helps, obviously, that I absolutely love my job. Like if I hated my job or had a really, really crappy job, it would suck even more. Um, but I've always made the point in my life that I was, if I was going to work and going to have a job, it needs to be something I at least like doing a little bit so that it, I'm not miserable. <laughs> yeah, it works out well, doesn't it? What do you think, okay? 
Do you like going to Auntie Jenny's? And do you like going to Nana and Papa's? Yeah. When I pick her up from my parents' house, I can't tell you how fulfilling it is to have her see me walk through that door or come up to her and then see her look at me and her whole mood just like changes. Like not that she's cranky because she absolutely loves being at my parents' house and at my sister's house and she has loads of loans of fun when she's there, but obviously since I'm not there throughout the day, she doesn't really, she doesn't miss me because she doesn't really know. My mom occasionally will tell me like she was saying mama all day or dada or mama and dada all day and she was looking for you uh, after you left, but most of the time she has no idea because <laughs> she's still uh, young enough like not really to understand. But as soon as she sees me when I pick her up at the end of the day, she's like, oh my God, like you haven't been here all day and that kind of clicks. And to see that in her head and like watch her either run up to me and hug me is so, so fulfilling. And it really does just absolutely warm my heart. Even Georgia, like Georgia is totally Chris's dog. And even when I pick her up at the end of the day, she like runs to the door and is so excited to like hop up in the truck and she's like, let's go. Like I've been waiting for you all day, woman. <laughs> it is super fulfilling for me to be able to go to work, do what I love, come home, hang out with my family, and then also have the days off and the time to hang out with Skylar, have just like mommy-daughter time. Every day changes. Some days are crazy than others, but every day is still so worth it and super fulfilling. So there's really no losing. Even though you're at work, you still it still gives you that break away from your children so you can concentrate and focus on something else and be fulfilled in a different way than if you were just at home hanging out with them every single day because I know I took that whole year to be on mat leave and being with her every day was amazing but I was definitely towards like the end of it around her birthday time it was bittersweet but I was definitely ready to do something to have something else to do to be responsible for other uh, duties or you know have other responsibilities and it was nerve-wracking and still can be some days some days you know I'd be lying if I didn't load her up into the truck and just look at her and say yeah I wish we could just go back to bed but the day goes by so fast and before I know it I'm picking her up and coming back home with her and if you're in the situation then I just say go for it it can be so hard and I get that like it's gonna be I'm not I'm not I don't want to lie it's not gonna be easy but once you just take the plunge take the dive and just do it it is so worth it and so rewarding so just go and do it if you're in the situation if you're a stay-at-home mom you're absolutely killing it so keep doing what you're doing take a break when you need to go into the bathroom and cry if you need to but I think that is it for this video today Someone is a little cranky, so I think it's your nap time. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like down below. Don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching, and until then, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.